Hey guys, so previously we covered how to push Office 365 apps through Intune, but what if you have an in-house corporate app that you need to push to end users? How do you do it through Intune? And today what well, this is what we're going to be covering. So the first thing you want to do is install a tool by Microsoft that's called the Win32 uh, app content prep tool. I'm gonna leave a link in the co in, in the description below to download this. The first thing you want to do is uh, get this uh, this uh, app. So we're gonna download the zip file, and now we simply have to go to the folder, extract this file. double click it and that that's the utility we need so I'm gonna copy this I already on my C drive I created a folder just an empty folder and I called it Intune apps I'm just gonna copy it in there and I also created an empty folder called packaged of course you can call them whatever you want to call them I that's the names I uh, called them and the idea is I have this app which is called partition magic it can be any app and uh, it's an exe file if we go to details as you can see it's an exe file and we need to push it to our endpoint so the first thing we want to do is to learn the switches of this app or any app so the way we do this is uh, with a switch, we go to command prompt and we simply call, go to this uh, folder that we have. And now we have the partition magic there. So what we do is uh, basically uh, we type the name of the executable and then slash and then the question mark. And that's just gonna, that's, that works for, for any app. And that's just gonna pop up with all the available switches. And what I'm, what I uh, really need, you can go over all the switches, but I, what I really need is I want to push it without end users in, intervention. So I want to take this very silent switch and add it to my install. So that's that's the switch I'm gonna need. Now, if the app that you're uh, trying to get the switches for did not come up with this pop-up, you would have to manually go Google it, find the switches. If it's not there, unfortunately, you'd have to contact the vendor and ask them what their switches are. But I'd say 80 to 90% of the apps have these switches once you go through this process. Now, what I want to do after installing the partition magic, I have this folder, which is called Files. And it has this document, and I want Intune to push the file, this document from this folder, inside the partition magic folder after installation. And that can apply to anything. You know, we're trying to customize the install. So if you have a config file you're trying to push after the install or copy, that's how we we want to do it with a batch file. So I have here. The installation and the way we're going to do this is we're going to package the installer in addition to this batch file that i'm going to create which gives instructions to intune and what to do so i'm telling it here start and do not install anything until this is done so uh you know there's no conflict in the installation and then i'm giving it i'm giving it the uh the uh name of the uh, the uh, file that installs the exe files and we're giving it the switch which is very silent so no interactions and then basically the software will be installing on this folder here after you install so what i'm going to tell it is copy and you would go with the ampersand and this mar symbol and then dp0 and then the files is the name of my folder here so i'm giving it the location and i'm going to tell it to uh, copy this document which exists here and maybe we can add something to it like this so we can uh, verify it was copied 
So I'm just gonna try to copy this file into the the uh, so we're gonna ha have to add the whole path basically. So I'm gonna tell it, I'm telling it to copy this document into this location, which is where this uh, software will install. So I'm gonna delete this one here, and I'm just doing it basically silently and to override if it's there. So at this point, I'm just gonna save this as a batch file. And I'm going to call it install, for example. You could call it whatever you want. And I'm just going to put it in the same location with the rest of the stuff. Of course, with the batch file, you can be creative. If you want to reboot the machine, after you install the program, you can. You know, it's a batch file. You can you can uh, give commands the way you want, and that's the idea. You're customizing this install through this batch file. So at this point, we're really, really ready to uh, go ahead and uh, package uh, using this utility, and this is how we do it. So this is the uh, what we have to follow. So we go to the command, which is the utility we downloaded, the setup folder, which is this. In our case, it's into an app folder. The name of the installer, which is in our case partitionmagic.exe, and then where do you want it to be, uh, you know, packaged? So I created this uh, folder, and I want it to be packaged in there. So we just have to copy this, and then go to a command prompt. Go to the folder where the stuff is, and just put it in there, and hit enter. And as you can see, it started to do it, and then it's just done. If you go to packaged here, this is our package. Now this package in includes everything, includes the install, dot pad, the files, the installer here and everything. So now at this point, we're gonna go and upload it to endpoint. And the way we do it, we go to apps, all apps, and then add. And we choose the Win32 app. We say select. So we're gonna select our file. which is this one. And now we can call it whatever we want. We're gonna say partition magic software. You could put the description here. And then basically uh, I'm gonna say the public publisher is partition magic. Now, if you have other things you want to fill out, like App Virgin or something, if you have a comp, if you're using Company Portal and you want it to show there, you can say yes. I don't. If you want to, if you have a logo, you can upload it. So you know, the uh, Intune admins would know what this uh, software is. But in my case, I'm just gonna leave it as default. Now, the install command is basically the f file, the batch file we we created. So it's install. Dot bat, and we're telling Intune to use this file to install the software. Uh, the uninstall command we did not create one, but you know you get the idea. You can uh, you can uh, either create a batch file or just put the file that the uh, software uses to uninstall itself. So I'm just gonna put anything here. Doesn't have to be right because we're not pushing the uninstall. We're installing the uh, the uh, we're ins pushing the install right now. Now these are all options you can choose. The install behavior. We don't want it to be a user. We want it to be a system so it can be silent. Uh, device restart behavior. How do you want it to react afterwards? If it needs a reboot, it should reboot or what? And then we go to next. Now here, you want to choose whether 32 or 64 bit your windows. Usually it's really 64. You can choose both if, if you're not sure. But all Windows 10 and Windows 11 are basically uh, you know 64 bits. Now here you can choose what version this applies to. 
So mine, I think, is uh, 21. You know, you, you don't have to really, you, you know, this is the minimum version, basically, uh, that, that you would want to go with. So I'm just going to go with this one. I think mine is higher than this. And, you know, you can leave the rest and say next. Now, what if uh, you want to check first if the app is actually installed or not? So the way we do this is uh, we we basically configure a detection rule. So we're gonna click on Add, and then we're gonna say File. And the idea is we're gonna tell it if you go to this, if you go go to this path, and if you find. A folder by the name of this, then file or, fo or folder exists. So it's going to go to C program files, and this is where the partition magic software would install. So if it finds this folder, then it's detecting it, it's not going to install it basically. If it's not there, it'll install it. We're just going to go through this. I don't want to add any dependencies. And I'm just going to assign it. Now, assigning it, we have to be careful here. So if you assign it to a machine, it's going to install to that machine, no matter who logs into it. If you assign it to a user, every time that user logs into any machine, it'll follow him and install it. So we usually add this to uh, machines because, uh, you know, we just want to install it once. We don't want to unless unless you're specifying only to the, to a user or so so i have a group here it has nothing to do with mfa but it has a pc in it and i do want to assign it to it so as you can see we can see uh end user notifications it says show all toast notifications so when i change this to hide all notifications and we'll just change this to device time zone and that's it so now we are uh, we assigned it to this group which is this and we are create the package once we create it we just have to wait basically until Intune push it to the soft to the machine. Now I do have this machine, which is a Windows 10, and this is my machine in, in Intune. And if we go to C, Program Files, as you can see, I do not have Partition Wizard or nothing. So we'll just have to wait. I'll pause this video and uh, come back when the install is complete. In the meantime, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. Okay, an hour later, you know, sometimes it takes longer, sometimes it takes less. Patience is uh, your friend here. So here's the app. If I go and I want to check the status on the installation, I can see that it's saying it's installed on this machine so if i go to the machine as you can see it already has the uh, app installed and if i go to c program files here's the folder that we uh we said it's going to install it on and if i want to see if my document was copied as you can see this is the test document that we uh, told it to copy and if I open it, here, here's the stuff that we put in. So basically, this is how you would uh, install uh, a custom app. Of course, again, that install.batch file, you can add whatever commands you want to it and customize it. And that's it. We pushed it successfully, and we customized it according to what we, uh, we need. Well, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up for more content like this and have a great day.